What's something that's secretly been great about the pandemic? Without a social life, I've been forced to focus on myself instead of other people so I've cut down on my drinking, lost 35 pounds, and started seeing a therapist. Here's hoping I come out of this in better physical and mental shape than I went in. Gave me the opening to get out of a dead end delivery job and focus on the it I actually went to school for. I'm getting there. Edit. Holy smokes. This blew up. Thank you all for the kind words and awards. My employer now knows for sure that working from home is completely doable and really doesn't duck up productivity. I've also learned that I like going into the office once or twice a week just to break up the monotony of working from home all the time. I haven't had a cold all year. I have a 19 year old cat. He's been getting slower and I know what's on the horizon. But the fact that I've been able to be at home all day every day, he's loved it. He's on my lap hours a day, knowing that I've made his, probably, last year the best is probably the only thing good about the pandemic. Edit 1. Holy shit this blew up and gold. Glad so many people can share their stories as well. For your information even though he is 19, he's in good health. The vets are always surprised at his age, and just has some arthritis in the hips. Edit 2. Cat tax. Taken this morning of said old boy. I have now learned that I don't lack time to do things. Just motivation. My 14 year old dog passed away last July. Our whole family had been working schooling from home full time starting in March. So we all got to love on her and care for her full time for her last months. I'm sick a lot less often. The kids are doing school entirely from home so they don't bring crap home like they used to. Save money on gas. Not dealing with a commute. No pressure to go somewhere on my days off. I don't feel like I'm wasting time when I have days off and don't spend them traveling or seeing people. I love staying at home and just hanging with my two cats. Sweatpants on. Messy bun. Junk food and games. I'm content with that. A lot of restaurants have really upped their online ordering and drive through game. Like a well oiled machine. If it wasn't for the pandemic, my dad would be dead right now. He likes to come over to our place while I'm at work and spend time with my dogs. My papillon got away from him and wanted to play chase in our garage. Which is basically a storage unit right now. And she was bobbing and weaving through boxes. When he caught her and took her inside, he noticed he was having a hard time catching his breath. My brother, who lives with me, offered to let him use his new oxygen meter, which he bought after he developed some temporary sleep apnea after he had covered. The meter was frighteningly low, so he told our dad to go to the walk-in clinic. They told him as soon as he explained his oxygen level that he needed to go to the ER. He tests negative for COVID at the ER, but they found multiple blood clots in his lungs. They kept him a few days in the hospital, and he made a complete recovery with no permanent damage. I know my dad very well. Under normal circumstances, he would have gone home, tried to relax, gone to bed that night, and possibly never woken up the next morning. But COVID has us all on high alert, especially when it comes to breathing troubles. I never thought I'd be thankful for it. Also after he got out of the hospital, he gave said pappy on an extra special doggy treat for saving his life. Spending time with my dog. I'm missing a tooth fairly close to the front of my mouth and I don't feel self-conscious smiling in public when I'm wearing a mask. It's a silly thing. But I kinda missed real smiles. Thanks for the awards. Guys. My most liked commented comment is about my ducked up teeth. That's something. Lol. Sleep. Contactless delivery. Finding out that not everyone needs to trudge for over an hour or more to get their job five days a week. That it's possible to work from home perfectly fine. Edit. Yes. I know not everyone can work from home. Some people have to go in. This is why I specifically stated not everyone. Also thanks for the awards. See. Playing board games with my teenage kids. We got away from it as they got older. I still kick ass on Scrabble. 
but they smoke me on backgammon. Ticket to ride is a blast. Yahtzee 2. Edit. Well this certainly resonated with the community. To answer a few questions. We don't play every night. A couple of times a week is where we're at now. We have more modern games. But backgammon and Yahtzee especially Yahtzee is the one they like to play the most. Monopoly. When played without house rules is fun. It probably won't last when things go back to normal. So I'm loving it while it lasts. Thanks for the awards. I now permanently work from home. Which is amazing. My caution and anxiety about people can be successfully hidden by the pandemic. I am not forced to be overly social and can more successfully avoid crowded areas. Cleaner beaches and ocean in Hawaii if millions of tourists stayed home. Of course the economy went to shti, but the aloha assassin are prospered. Having a mask on in the cold is low-key the best. Not seeing your toxic co-workers. Getting to home cook meals while at work is a fantastic weight loss plan. Down almost 50 pounds since September and haven't looked back. Edit. This comment blew up. Thanks for the awards but if you are looking for ways to spend money, please donate to your favorite quality charity instead of buying me virtual stickers. As far as how I've done it, I don't want to shill for anyone but I've been using Noom since September. Which has basically helped me manage my sicko, calories in calories out, with a fine tooth comb and also helped adjust my mental approach to health and specifically how I look at food. I spend most of my time in the grocery store in the produce aisle now. I don't try to necessarily view foods as good and bad but instead look at different foods and how they will help me. And I don't sit and stress over any bumps in the road. Weight gains are just things my body needs from time to time to help on the journey. And sometimes you just need a treat for mental joy. Which is okay. I'd be happy to offer advice to anyone who wants it. But also know that I'm still learning new things every day about my own weight loss journey. I can mouth obscenities at people and they don't have a clue. For me personally, online learning. It just clicks with my brain somehow. I've gotten the best grades these past few semesters of my whole time in college. I'm off academic probation. I got an A in a class I failed twice before, required for my major. And I am able to do a second major I really wanted. I'm so much less stressed about exams and it feels so good to be able to show my parents grades I'm proud of. I don't know how I would have been able to do this without online classes. I had a lot of trouble with attendance. And my bad memory. And now I'm able to go to class from my room and rewatch lectures and have some notes for exams. I felt so low my first few years of college and I finally feel good about myself as a student. It's still hard to believe that it's me getting these grades and graduation is scary but I'm so glad I get to do it. Edit. Thank you so much for all of the support and the really interesting discussions people are having. A special thank you to the people who gave me awards. That's very kind of you all. I think the big takeaway here is that neither online nor in-person classes are objectively better, and that different learning formats work for different people. Hopefully colleges will be able to offer all or most classes in either format post-pandemic so that students can choose which version works for them. Good luck everyone. I believe in you. My wife loves the pandemic because she gets to work from home. So no more commuting to work. She has basically gotten back 2 hours of her day. I got to spend a lot more time with aging pets. I had to put down a cat this fall but for 7 months he got to lay on my keyboard and interrupt zoom calls all day. I also have a 12 year old lab and spending this year with her all day every day has been awesome. I'm an NZ so super lucky. When it first hit we locked down for 4 weeks. I'm self employed so the government gave me a wage subsidy. Like 30% of my normal income but plenty to live on. Best bit is I was renovating my house at the time, so I got paid to renovate my own place for 4 weeks. People finally washing their hands. I haven't been told I'd look prettier if I smiled in like a year. It's kinda awesome. I got furloughed from a store position in March. Got on unemployment. Got paid to play video games until July, and just as my unemployment was set to run out. I came back on in an office position from my couch, working less hours for the same pay. Somehow I've come out on top of all this. My savings have skyrocketed and I don't have to see people anymore. 
win ducking win. I have a 14 month old daughter, born in January 2020. Had I been commuting to work every day, I would have missed out on a lot of her early months of development and wouldn't have the bond with her that I do. Also used the time to teach my 4 year old son to ride a bike and went on some awesome bike rides with him. We were locked to a 5 km radius for a while and we got to know our neighborhood really well. Made rafts and floated them down the creek. Harassed a lot of bull ants and jumped in a lot of puddles. No company holiday parties. I live in Nick. Gotta admit one thing I like about the masks. I love walking around and listening to my music while lip syncing hardcore without people noticing Lameo or Asus copyright airing. Let me tell you. I ducking love not having to fake smile at everyone all the time. My daughter is medically fragile and we pulled her out of her school when COVID hit. She's only 3, 1 stroke 2. She's developmentally delayed and went to a special preschool. I was able to drop down at work and we've really been working with her. My kids get to see me more and my daughter is making wonderful improvement. She's rarely been sick this past year. It's been her healthiest year. People have been able to spend more quality time with their children and pets. Not shaking hands. I have palmar hyperhidrosis, sweaty palms, and I'm always nervous about shaking hands. I try to manage it, but it is always a stressor. No more. My neighbor and I started spending every day together. After 6 months of lockdown I joked that she should move in with me. A couple months later she did. A few months later we kissed for the first time and it's been amazing ever since. Oon. Not having to pay for that expensive wedding on a different continent and doing it on zoom instead. Mortgage deposit nearly sorted as a result. Edit. Spelling. I lost my husband before the pandemic hit. My daughter was daddy's little girl. This whole year has been us bonding again. She's 5. Her whole life has been hard. I'm disabled. We were homeless. My son who has a different father didn't allow him to be in the shelter with us. This is the first time in her life where I'm not hospitalized. We have a stable roof over our heads and have time for each other after all the absolute chaos of the first 4 years of her life. Also my son was with me for 6 full months without having to go back to his dad's. Honestly for my family, it was a blessing in disguise. Working from home. I love not having to communicate with anyone face to face because I stutter too much. People stay the fck away from me. I got a fully funded scholarship and met Jean-Michel Basquiat studio assistant while working on a paper about him. I have a daughter. She's 2 now and I used to work at Taco Bell as a manager and would get off work around 4 stroke 5 in the morning. Barely had any time for myself let alone school. When the pandemic happened some of her father's family members became home more. We lived with them. And I was able to start and finish a medical office administration program and now I'm certified working as a medical billing assistant 9-5 and my graduation is in April. I'm 24 FBTW. I am a recovering alcoholic. Spending most of my time at home exploring my hobbies. Attending virtual counseling. And rebuilding relationships with my loved ones has helped me to realize that no substance has ever given me so much contentment. And I honestly never want to give up what I have now. In 4 weeks. I will be celebrating my 2 year sobriety anniversary. The grass. Underneath the foot of snow. Has never seemed greener. Giving up on stuff. I decided to try so many things and buy into so many new hobbies that had been in my head for so many years at the start that it was a relief to decide I was enough as a person pretty much the way I was originally. Self love brosso circumflexo diaresis are cute. Creativity as flourish a dos new music. New films. New writings a sub of course people have time to commit. My girlfriend and I use the inability to go out to start cooking at home and dieting. In 6 months we have lost a combined 102 pounds so far. Now we are adding exercise and changing our habits. I've worn a bra no more than 15 times this year. This has really been the year to free the titties. Always dressing casual. Having more time to pursue hobbies. Easier to slack off at work. Not having my meal at the hospital when I gave birth. 
I can only speak for myself but my wife and I have saved over 20k in childcare so far. I got to spend mad time with my newborn. It has provided some pretty definitive proof that there is no reason for me to have to go into the office. Not that I mind being there all that much. I just hate commuting. I genuinely think this is the first thing humans as a species have experienced together across the globe. Through so much of human history, there was pretty much always whole countries or continents not involved and or oblivious to certain things. But this might have been the first thing that we all have gotten through or are getting through together. And that's cool. Lots of people are dead. But it's still so cool. Last part is a joke because I literally can't help myself. But the point remains the same. I'm pregnant. Since I rarely go out and my webcam doesn't show my body, many people have no clue even though I have an obvious bump now. Additionally, no strangers have touched my belly without my permission. In fact, it's only been touched by me, my immediate family and spouse and dog, and my healthcare providers. Plus, I can wear anything I please and don't need office cute maternity clothes. And no one can tell that my happy hour is non-alcoholic. Got over my body dysmorphia and gained a ton of confidence. I was now this close to having an eating disorder. Now I love myself and my hobbies more than ever and will never go back to that state again. Southern California traffic. Freeways basically wide open for the last year. Not having to see my in-laws. Lol. I'm still working. And have been since the pandemic started. So it's been life as usual for me. I did lose a dear friend of mine to suicide, though, and I can't wait for this thing to be over. Online exams and online tests at university that allow the grades to grow exponentially. We went on lockdown. I went on unemployment and started making double what I normally made. I was able to pay off my credit cards fully which led me to buy a house in October, which then led me to rescue a dog in November. I don't like human interaction. People not being able to touch or get too close to me. Our ability to use the MRNA vaccine technology to vaccinate against other diseases in the future. I have chronic pain and having to wear a mask makes it easier to conceal the fact that I'm in tremendous pain every day. It's normal to be a functioning alcoholic IA. I get to see my teenagers a lot more. I used to play a lot of team sports, which as an adult means late nights. I had at least 3 work nights a week that I slept less than 6 hours. I had other social events that would get me to bed as I maybe slept an average of 7 hours a night. Nothing crazy just not getting to bed till midnight. Now I sleep an average of 9 hours a night. No lie. My watch tells me so. Don't get me wrong. I really miss the activities and friend but holy it always being well rested is amazing. Gun massacres are down. DUIs are down. Drunk driving fatalities are down. Carbon emissions are down. I'd bet, not positive, that a good amount of species are likely making a strong comeback from human intervention. I know I can't speak on behalf of all workplaces but having employers managers take employee wellness a little more seriously now. Back then at my place of work, if you had a bad cold or some flu symptoms, they'd still want you in on your shift regardless. But now with COVID and some state legislation that has passed, my managers now get really concerned if we start feeling ill and urge us to take time off. I had tons of hand sanitizer in the house when the Texas death storm knocked out my water for 4 days. Layered catastrophes for the win. I don't have to smell anyone's dirty nasty try mouth breathing anymore. Being able to sneak in domestic tasks during the workday since I WFH permanently now. The dishes get done daily. Clothes washed more often. Mentally I think overall working from home just suits me. I wear what I want. I don't need to appear busy to co-workers. I can have podcasts, music or YouTube blaring and I can it post on Reddit with ease and best of all I have been productive f with my job since probably working with my company despite what appears to be me slacking off listing the above. Haven't had to buy work clothes or pay for dry cleaning for almost a year. I had no idea how much it actually cost over the course of a full year. Donated it to the SPCA. 
This is selfish but my oldest son should be away at college. We moved mid senior year, got out of the military, and he stayed with a friend to graduate so I miss time with him. He would like to be independent but secretly he likes homemade meals and someone doing his laundry no he is a great friend to me. He attends the college online and will move away this summer instead. Also my husband used to work a half hour away. In WA the winters can be rough. Especially because he works nights. Now he just walks downstairs to his office. His job is permanent at home now. Not having to shower every day. I had been the student in school that was trying to be the class clown but all my jokes were cringy as hell. And I was 12 when quarantine started. And my voice was about the same as when I was 9. Quarantine really gave me the chance to mature myself. And my voice had dropped by about 2 octaves. And I had got about an inch or 2 or 3 taller in that year. So, honestly, quarantine really saved me from more humiliation. Not having to meet people. I don't feel as bad about being poor since so many people lost everything they had. And I can stay home as much as possible and nobody's making me feel bad about it. Me learning bunch of new things I wouldn't have during the pandemic. I got good at 3D printing, 3D modeling, art, and coding so it's been a hella fun ride and I'm still learning a bunch of different things.